block 113. Welcome, my friends, to block 113 at this crucial time in the year 2013. How is it that my person is able to talk to you of freedom, peace, and life in the configuration. I have been appointed by sheer circumstance, by all the emotions of peoples acting on me, and by my double helix acting on the brain. I feel totally integrated with people, plants and animals within the planet Earth, this minute part of our configuration. I am the spokesman for the peoples. I prefer this word spokesman rather than Messiah, which has come to mean dropped from heaven. We are already in heaven. I have been appointed by peoples on earth to take us to above or within the configuration. My friends, we all have a function or a job to do on planet Earth, from the six days work a week to resting on the seventh. My job is as the spokesman for the peoples of planet Earth to gain ascendancy into the configuration and colonizing the whole dimension. Colonizing is nothing new to our species. We have all wanted to expand through the planet ever since we climbed out of the sea at the very beginning of our evolutionary process. My friends, climbing out of the sea those billions of years ago and adapting to life on dry land needed an impetus of extreme resourcefulness which is within our double helix even today. That impetus is our strength but can also be our weakness, meaning extinction, unless we can keep it under control. Control means not fighting amongst ourselves, but living together in peace. As your spokesman, I offer you the chance of everlasting life for our double helix. That everlasting life can be had by making proper use of our brain in controlling the impetus. The latter has driven us across the seas, onto the highest mountain, and even to the moon. 
It is looking for further conquests. It drives some to golf courses or to tennis, football, business, running marathons and to the military. The latter, my friends, however patriotic we may be, means the end of that incredible occurrence called life. The atom bomb, my friends, is a big enough symbol to speak for itself. We try and excuse it as a deterrent, but it is simply a sure sign of our intent, an exposure of the impetus within our double helix. We hide it away and use it as a bargaining chip, but it is there to be used when the impetus in our double helix takes over our brain. My friends, messianism is the answer and I, as your spokesman, raise the pen held by the hand that wrote the novel, ending on the treble six. The ears of corn. My friends, do I shout out glory, glory, hallelujah, hallelujah? I shout out, stop the wars. Build the peace trains and dodge em cars. Harness light and gravity and take off from the planet. Jerusalem will be that city to declare universal peace and love. Jew, Christian, Arab, Hindu and the peoples of the world will cry out stop wars, drug taking, criminal activity and let every school in the world put a stop to the word history and its killing and to start with messianism. Sing hymns of peace and chant liturgies of love Bring forth Elvis and Marilyn, who got caught up with so much love needed by people that it stifled them to death. People need so much love, not continual war. And that love will begin with music, song and dance and the building of the peace trains and dodgem cars leading to spaceships. We will not take part in war which is driving us to extinction. 
that impetus will be guided into building spaceships and takeoff from the planet.